At this community near Madrid, the houses look pretty much the same. You would never guess that famous people live there. In Spain, the man who designed them is a star as well. Welcome. Come in. Joaquin Torres has built about 200 luxury villas here. Most are like his own home, with 800 square meters of floor space starting at 6 million euros. He will also design the furniture and provide accessories or works of art. We can even provide glasses and cutlery. We can source just about everything, even the sheets or tablecloths. Most of our clients really appreciate that, because they're very busy people. Among the clients are several soccer stars who play for Real Madrid, including forward Cristiano Ronaldo. He was just 21 when he moved in. German international midfielder Sami Kadira lives here too. They both reside at La Finca Residential Development on the west side of Madrid. It's an exclusive gated community and getting in is like crossing an international border. Filming is actually not allowed, and in any case, you rarely get to see famous folk out and about here. The villas are set in a 90-hectare park. You really do have great privacy and security. Nobody gets in here uninvited. When the soccer stars of Real Madrid used to hold parties, it was all over the media at once. Today, if Ronaldo parties with 25 women, nobody sees a thing. The media remain outside. Joaquin Torres has become a celebrity in his own right. The media are always asking for interviews. His architectural practice has grown. He has a staff of more than 100 and offices in Madrid, Dubai, Vietnam and Brazil. And his villas are like status symbols for some of his clients. I think that for most, my houses are a luxury purchase, like you would buy something from Versace or Gucci. I'd love to be able to say that people like my architecture, but I think it's more about the brand. Not many of the soccer players are really intrigued by my work. By contrast, Madonna is said to really admire his designs. This is the house Torres built for her in Dubai. She told me that the light in Dubai is too bright for her, so she wanted a house that is not too wide open because of the light and the heat. So we placed the reception rooms under the sea. They're next to a huge tank that has dolphins. It's one of the biggest dolphinariums in the world. The light enters right through it. It's lovely. Torres lives in his villa with his wife and child, but it looks more like a stage set. Camera crews show up about twice a week. Cristiano Ronaldo's new villa looks like the rest from the outside, but he had some special wishes for the interior. Ronaldo wanted an entire wall of glass here so he could see the clothes in his closet and look into the bathroom. There are lots of mirrors and glass cabinets. And over his bed there's a huge photo of himself. A bit of personality cult, really. Joaquin Torres might find that amusing, but it creates publicity for his architecture. And that's good for business.